Hey guys, welcome back and uh, in this clip we'll see how to use rolling update for uh, deploying our applications to Kubernetes cluster with zero downtime and in case our release has critical defects, right? So even I will show you how to undo that rollout. Customers expect our deployments with zero downtime. So Kubernetes framework has that feature built in. Well, I have a Kubernetes cluster created on Amazon Web Services using COPS. If you want to learn how to use COPS to create Kubernetes cluster, you can watch my other video in the same playlist. First, let's get into the cluster. Uh, on my COPS machine, I configured uh, Kubernetes certificates to interact with the cluster. Let's first SSH into COPS. Right now, I am on my COP server. So there are three nodes, one is master and other two are worker nodes. Let me also check what are the resources we have inside the cluster. Right now, we do not have any of our custom resources created. And I do see only one, which is of type service. That's created by, by Kubernetes cluster for its internal usage, right? Let me take you to uh, my GitHub repository, which containing the folder deployments. Okay. Now, I have written YAML file. And in that YAML file, I described all my details like the kind of object it is deployment name of the deployment and this specification is about uh, replica set so usually a uh, deployment is topmost object and the innermost object is going to be our uh, pod so pod and top of it uh, we have things like replicas and top of replicas uh, we have deployment object. So in this file, right, we have the specification for pod and the specification for replica set, which is going to maintain three replicas. And also we have the specification for deployment object, which has the functionalities like rolling updates and undo rollouts. So, all right, so let me uh, take this file onto my cluster. I want to use raw link uh, if I uh, if I take this link so it will download my actual content plus all HTML stuff so select raw and pick up that link and get this file onto COPS machine okay Let's create the deployment object into the cluster. This is the command I want to use, kubectl apply the file deployments.yaml. I will also explain you the usage of iPhone iPhone record equals true little later. Hit enter. See, I'm deploying this application first time. Okay. And meaning there are no ports before. Uh, even I can check the status of my deployment using kubectl rollout status deployment and name of the deployment because we have very few replicas that's three so if let's say let's say we have uh, around 50 replicas or 100 replicas in a huge cluster so when I hit this command it will display the results like how many ports are created and how many ports are yet to create things like that okay now I want to access this application through my internet so for that I want to create a service object I want to pick that service.yaml from my uh, github repository services and services.yaml so this service object is going to load balance three replicas we created in our previous step. 
So let me download this file onto my Kubernetes client. wget Okay. So uh, this service object, right, has selector with a label. The pods we created in previous step using deployment object, they also have same label. So that is how service picks its targets. In sense, there might be hundreds, thousands of pods running in inside the cluster and probably this service object is interested in picking the pods having this specific label on it. Okay. Now, kubectl create that. And in the background, I'm using a service type as load balancer. In the background, it is creating the load balancer in cloud. The type load balancer will work only in cloud environments. I mean, if you have Kubernetes cluster on Amazon cloud, a Google cloud platform, or Azure. So only then this option will work. If, if you're doing this on premise, so the type load balancer will not work. Let me show, let me describe this service and show you what are the endpoints it has. See there, these are the endpoints, nothing but the ports, which it's going to load balance. So let's go to load balances section. and check instances, uh, it's load balancing only nodes, it's not load balancing the master. So go there, take its link, perfect right, so our pod is running inside the cluster and we are able to access that application using service object through its load balancer. Now what I want to show you is uh, we have right now version 1 so what I want to show you is I want to show you how we upgrade our application from version 1 to version 2 with zero downtime. Let's open deployment object deployment file there instead of v1 let's make it v2 you don't worry these images are available in my docker hub account they're public so even you can access those images fine to my deployments.yaml i made small change right so that is earlier it was v1 and now i am pointing it to v2 Let's apply those changes. And if you want to know the status, right? See the command. So cube CTL rollout status deployment name of the deployment. So that gives clearly about how your application is upgraded to V2 with incremental updates, nothing but rolling updates. If you do a refresh, our customers can see the new version that's v2. We also can check the history, kubectl rollout history deployment name of the deployment, right? So right now we have two revisions, revision 1 and how we created that, correct, using this command. And we do have revision 2 
but the change cost section is none because I didn't use iPhone iPhone record true to have this information recorded so I said a little while back that the usage of uh, iPhone iPhone record equals to true so when I do that it will have all the revisions along with that it will also have the commands which cost those revisions now it's time to see how to undo the rollout let's say our release 2 has defects bugs and we have major defects where customers couldn't uh, use our application now the immediate action we want to perform is to roll back to its previous version so it's very easy and simple to perform this kind of activity in kubernetes cluster kubectl rollout undo deployment node app so current revision is this when i do this rollout it will go back to this one let me show that kind of see that one so when I refresh my load balancer page it's falling back to version 1 so okay and uh, I want to highlight few details inside deployment object so here we have a deployment strategy type rolling update and inside rolling update we have maximum unavailable 25% and maximum search 25% so meaning when Kubernetes is performing that incremental upgrade update so maximum unavailability can be 20% let's say our actual replicas are 100 okay so in that a maximum unavailable could be 25 meaning at any point of time there should be 75 percent I mean to say 75 pods out of 100 right there should be 75 pods which is active and available for the customers so what could happen is it could delete 25 pods old pods and that can be replaced with new pods so when it does this kind of rolling update so we are, we are setting boundaries so maximum can be 25 percent in sense there could be a maximum of 100 plus 25 which is 125 pods uh, replicas for this application and maximum unavailable could be 25 percent again so these values could be adjusted according to our requirement that's all from this video thanks for watching and see you again in next video